Our lesson for today is Chemistry 1501. We are going to look at quantum numbers, lesson 103. Let us start. There are four quantum numbers, which is N, L, M, L, and M, S. Let us try to explain them one by one in detail. Our first letter, which is letter N or quantum number N, is the principal quantum number. It explains the energy level. Now, this is what you need to know. From the previous lesson videos, I believe you are familiar with this diagram. You need to know that the first energy level, which is the 1s, this, n is equals to 1. That is the first energy level. Looking at the second energy level, it consists of 2s and 2p. First energy level consists of only 1s. The third energy level consists of three types of orbitals, which is 3s, 3p, 4d, I mean 3d. And then n is equals to 4, the fourth energy level. So n, the principal quantum number, simply describes or explains the energy levels energy level number one we have one orbital energy level number two we have two orbitals uh, energy level number three we have three orbitals four we have four orbitals so it simply means that energy level number five we expect to see five orbitals that is the principal quantum number the second quantum number its angular momentum quantum number it describes the sub levels remember we talked about the energy levels or the levels which is the value of n for the sub levels we are using angular momentum quantum number which is letter n this is what you must know as we all know from the previous previous lesson videos we have s p d and f orbitals all all the s orbitals the value of their angular momentum is zero. So it doesn't matter whether you have 3s, 4s, 1s. Just know that the value of these orbitals is, I mean, the value of the angular momentum for these orbitals is zero. You should take notes. We are going to use this information when answering the questions. Now for p orbitals, all the p orbitals, their angular momentum is equals to 1. d orbitals, all the angular momentum is equals to 2. f orbitals, all the angular momentum is equals to 3. We are going to use this. Just know that s is equals to 0, p is equals to 1, d is equals to 2 f is equals to 3 that is the sub levels it describes the sub levels of energy levels let us look at the relationship between the energy levels and the sub levels the principal quantum number and the angular momentum quantum number this diagram illustrates what we've talked about so far from the beginning of this lesson video we said the s orbital the sub level is zero and then for the p orbital the sub level is one for the d orbital the sub level is two the f orbital the sub level is three and then we also said under 1s the energy level is n is equal to number one that is the principal quantum number for energy level number two n is equal to two we have two orbitals which is s and p n is equal to three we have three orbitals which is s p d and then energy level number four we have four orbitals which is s p d f now we need to look at the relationship between the two. 
under energy level number one, n is equals to one. Let me actually write it here. n is equals to one. You can see that we only have one orbital. So we said s orbital, the angular momentum for s orbital is, let me write it like this, we only have one s, and then the angular moment, the angular momentum is l is equals to zero. Looking at energy level number two, we have two orbitals which is 2s and 2p. Now we said for the s orbital, the angular momentum is zero. For p orbital, the angular momentum is one. So for second energy level, n is equal to two, we have two angular momentum, which is l is equal to zero for s orbital, l is equal to one for p orbital. And then energy level number three, we can see that under three, we have two, we have three orbitals, I mean, it's three s, three uh, p, three d. So it means our angular momentum quantum number will be zero or the sub energy level will be l is equal to zero l is equal to one l is equal to two so under three energy level we have three angular momentum we continue we have four s for p for d and for f so you can see that we have l is equal to 0, l is equal to 1, l is equal to 2, l is equal to 3. Master this. We are going to use this. Let us continue. ML is one of the quantum numbers, which is the magnetic quantum number. It specifies the orbital or it specifies the electron in an orbital. Let us try to explain this. If you still remember the orbital diagram, we said the S orbital has only one box. The P orbital has three box, three boxes. The D orbital has five boxes. Then the F orbital will have seven boxes. Now we should know this. When we bring the knowledge of our sublevels, we actually know that for S orbital, L is equals to zero. And then this simply means that for our magnetic quantum number, ML, we are going to have zero. Let us go to the p orbital. We know that the sub-level of p orbital L is equals to 1 for p orbitals. This simply means that for ML, just know that if our sub-level is 1, then it means our ML will start from negative 1, 0, 1. I hope you can see the trend. Now we know that the D, the D orbital has the sub-level 2. So this simply means that the, the, the first orbital, it will be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. That is the magnetic quantum number. Now looking at the f orbital, it has seven orbitals, then you should know that L is equals to three, then it simply means that we're going to start our magnetic quantum from negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. 
So this is what you need to know about quantum, I mean magnetic quantum number. Our last quantum number is ms, which is the electron spin. Now we know that from the orbital diagram or the orbital energy level, we have actually from the orbital diagram, we have boxes and electrons inside the boxes. Now if the electron it faces up, it means the value of ms will be positive 1 over 2. Then if it faces down, it means our ms will be negative 1 over 2. So that's what you need to know about the electron spin. It's either 1 over 2 or negative 1 over 2. Now let us look at examples. Suppose you are given this electron as our question and then we want to know the four quantum numbers of these electrons. The value of n, the principal quantum number, it's simple because what you see here, this is the energy level, so it simply means n is equal to 4. And then we go to our sublevel or angular momentum quantum number. We actually know that for S, L is equal to 0, for P, L is equal to 1. So the answer to this is equal to 1. And then we are left with ML and MS. How do we determine ML? We are dealing with P orbital. We know that we have three boxes under P orbital. And then what is important? You should know that P1, it means we are looking at P orbital and then we only have one electron. For P2, we are going to have two electrons under P orbitals. So for P3, it's, it means we are going to have something like this for P3. So in this case, remember ML under P orbital can be negative 1, 0, 1. So we look at the last electron. Where is it? So this is negative 1, 0, 1. So the last electron is on the last orbital, which is 1. So ML is equal to 1. And then ms is the electron facing up or down is facing up so ms is equals to 1 over 2 so these are the four quantum numbers for this specific electron let us look at another example so looking at 4d7 it's another electron we need to find the four quantum numbers so the value of n we know that it's in the fourth energy level, so it's 4. And then we look at L. A quick reminder, we know that L for N is equal to 1, L is 0. N is equal to 2, L is equal to 1. N is equal to 3, L is equal to 2. N is equal to 4, L is equal to 3. Another reminder we should take note, remember that for this it's S, for this it's P, for this it's D, for this it's F. So this simply means that for 4D7, our L is equals to 2. And then for ML, we need to draw the orbital diagram of D, so it will have five boxes or oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we know that it will start from negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. Now, remember, we, we are looking for seven electrons, so it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
so you can see that the seventh electron is on negative one so the ml is negative one for ms since the seventh electron faces down so it will be negative one over two let us look at another example what about 2s2 so the value of n is on the second level it's two the value of l since we are dealing with s orbital it's zero and then we're looking for ml and ms now we know that s has only one orbital so there's no choice it means ml will be zero and then for ms let us fill in two electrons so it's one two since the second electron faces down this simply means the ms will be negative one over two let us look at another example one s one let us find the four quantum numbers for this electron so n is equals to one L is equals to zero since we are dealing with S orbital ML and MS you know that S only has one orbital so ML is the same as the previous example will be zero and then for MS there's a problem or actually there's something different we are not sure whether it will be down or it will be up so the value of ms will have two values which is positive 1 over 2 or negative 1 over 2 let us look at this example now we know that the value of n will be 6 the value of l we are talking about f orbital so it will be 3 now let us determine ml and ms so we know that the f orbital will have seven boxes one two three four five six one two three four five six seven and then ml will start from negative three negative two negative one zero one two three now we need to fill in six electrons so we are going to have one two three four five six so ml is equals to two then since the electron faces up it means you're going to have positive one over two that's it for this lesson video this is wahula hj Thank you very much.